Elected officials, among them State Senator Michael Gennaris, Assembly Members Aravela Simodas and Brian Barnwell, including community stakeholders, joined Council Member Costa Costandinidis on Steinway Street on February 24th during a press conference to support Costandinidis' proposal to reinvest in this shopping strip located in the neighborhood of Astoria, Queens. That's really the plan that we have. Uh, During his address, Councilmember Costandinidis reiterated his proposal for a comprehensive reevaluation of Steinway Street, which he had announced during his State of the District address a month earlier. His plan aims at making Steinway's streetscape safer and more conducive to commerce and includes traffic mitigation measures, mid-block crossings and leading pedestrian intervals so that shoppers can more easily and safely cross the street to travel between businesses. Furthermore, the proposal includes creating a designated public gathering space for shoppers to relax or gather with others. Starting this spring, Costantinidis said a community group will be formed to discuss the public gathering space, but in the meantime, he will be working with the Department of Transportation and other community groups and stakeholders on his comprehensive re-evaluation plan of Steinway Street. These proposed uh, streetscape upgrades uh, come as a result of issues related to traffic safety and economic growth. Since 2009, there have been hundreds of traffic-related injuries along Steinway Street, while commerce has been declining as businesses shut down, leaving several storefronts empty. Speaking in favor of these proposals, all speakers also stressed that the most important merit surrounding them is the objective to make this shopping strip on Steinway Street much safer for the public, more welcoming to all consumers and more conducive to commerce. As the proposal to reinvest in Steinway Street is still at its first stages, officials are also welcoming input from community residents and have announced that the public can submit their comments by emailing steinway at council.nyc.gov. Hello, Costa. Uh, working hard again. What are we doing here on Steinway Street today? Uh, we're here to really announce uh, an opportunity for residents to get involved with the redesign of Steinway. Uh, they can go to Steinway at council.nyc.gov or call my office at 718-274-4500. We're looking to take public input um, to help improve our street. I mean, this is the beating heart of our neighborhood. Uh, we're looking for additional pedestrian crossings, so mid-block crossings, people can get across easier, uh, better pedestrian signals so they can get across safer, and also finding a, a location on the street for residents to gather to have a holiday lighting or a community concert or a community performance and uh, come all together and have that space here on Steinway Street to restore. It's all going to be about experience moving forward, mm -hmm. right? It's not, you know, if someone can buy something on the internet, that's one thing. But they want them to come to Steinway Street for the experience. We want to give them more of an experience here. This is something you announced uh, during your uh, uh, state of the uh, city address, right? Yes. Uh, now, how, how uh, easy is this going to be? Uh, uh, is this going to include some uh, beautifying the streets as well here? Yeah, I mean, I'm look, I'm, we're looking at all options. That's what we're really asking residents to, to, to talk to us about is what would they like to see here on Steinway. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, I provide already a neighborhood uh, preservation grant of $22,000 a year to help support our small business. Um, so I'm willing to, to, to help do more to support the, you know, what has been the beating heart of our neighborhood. So whether that's pedestrian signals, whether that's uh, our sitting area, whether that's uh, better tra traffic lights, uh, whether that's uh, uh, greenery and, and benches, you know, we need to do more here on Steinway to bring it into the 21st century as we move forward. And I know this is going to be uh, a long process. How long do you think it's going to take before you can take action? You know, we're going to meet with the Department of Transportation. They've been a great partner in the past on many other projects that you, you've covered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are hoping to partner with them to get a real deep dive here on what can be done on Steinway, implement that as quickly as possible, and then for the long term, coming up with that pedestrian area where everyone can come together and uh, be safe. Now you chose this particular place between uh, 31st and Broadway. Is it going to be somewhere near here maybe? Uh, you know, it's really going to be a, a process. So okay. I'm not sure where it is going to be, but this is, it's a beautiful day. You know, <laughs> it, it feels like spring even though it's February. Yes. <laughs> so looking forward to getting this done. I'm not sure where it's going to be, but we need to find somewhere because uh, every major uh, uh, shopping center has it, whether it's a mall with their, yes. with their food court, uh, whether it's a, a you know, Fifth Avenue with Central Park. 
you know, all of the great places have it. Uh, we need a place to gather as a community. Um, we deserve it. It's, it's, you know, this is our, our, our meeting spot, our, our heart of our neighborhood. We need to make sure that it has what it needs. And finally, is there anything else that you're working on right now, any legislation that you would like to share with us? Well, I mean, the big thing coming up at the end of uh, March, which is only about a month away, we're going to start participatory budgeting. Okay. Um, there'll be an opportunity for residents to vote on how we spend $1 million in capital improvements. So whether that's uh, new uh, solar panels on the Steinway Library, or improvements to some of our local schools, or street repaving, or street trees, or countdown clocks, there's all opportunities to, to do those things. So we were looking forward to uh, seeing the vote from April 25th to, I'm mean, sorry, March 25th through April 2nd. Okay. March 25th, that's a special day, uh, Greek, Independence Greek Independence Day. Greek Independence Day. <laughs> Greek, and I'll be out the next day uh, for, our, for our great parade. Yes. Well, thank you, Gosa, for all the good work that you're doing. Elena, thank you for all that you do. Again, giving a voice to our Greek American community. Thank you for all your efforts. I know you're everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Assemblywoman Simoras, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> good. So uh, you're here to um, join uh, Costa and the rest of the um, community leaders and elected officials uh, to change Steinway Street. How uh, do you see this uh, new change? I think that the comprehensive solutions that are being proposed uh, are wonderful. I think that making Steinway Street more pedestrian friendly, uh, creating a space where residents and families can get together and relax is only, is only going to improve uh, this very important commercial uh, thoroughfare in our, in our neighborhood. It's going to attract tourists from out of town. It's really going to put us back on the map. I remember growing up uh, in Astoria, Steinway Street was the place to go. And some uh, at some place along the way, we lost that feeling, and I think that the that the changes that are being proposed by Councilmember Kosantinidis are going to get us back on track of, of reclaiming that that feeling. Yes, it's like a big shopping center here, and uh, as you look around, a lot of shops are closing. So this is a good thing. I think it's a good thing. It's. Uh, Anything we do to make it more attractive for people to come and shop is going to improve businesses and it's also going to make uh, it w much more attractive for families to come and do their shopping right here in their own backyards. Right. Um, you know, as a mother of a four and a half year old, I will tell you, I avoid this strip now because it is actually dangerous and it's difficult to um, to navigate with a, with a small child with shopping bags. So the, the notion of making this easier for pedestrians to navigate is only going to enhance the area and going to enhance businesses and improve uh, improve really this commercial thoroughfare. Can you uh, talk to us a little bit about any uh, legislation you're working on? I know it's the beginning of the year, but uh, you, I know you're always very, very busy. <laughs> no, of course. I will be continuing my fight uh, to make uh, fertility, uh, to make IVF an option for families who have fertility issues. One in eight families in, in uh, in the country have problems conceiving a child and very very few insurance uh, policies actually offer the uh, the option of having IVF treatments. It's the, IVF right now is the gold standard in treating infertility and I want to make it possible for more families uh, for more for more couples to actually have children and have families. How, how difficult is your fight? Very difficult because uh, the the for the laws the insurance laws are, uh, surrounding uh, infertility treatments haven't been updated in several several decades and of course um, it's a cost benefit analysis as the insurance company sees it and they don't like these kind of changes uh, similar to the change that we implemented recently that I, uh, the measure that I passed to make sure that pregnant women are covered by insurance at any point in time and not have to enroll in an arbitrary enrollment period you know, anything that insurance companies think is going to cost their bottom financial line, uh, it makes it quite a challenge up in Albany. But I'm going to be pushing. I think it's important. Uh, it's an important issue. Uh, an important issue, again, one in eight couples have problems conceiving children. Uh, you know, uh, women who have who have had cancer uh, oftentimes have to preserve uh, their, their eggs and their abilities to have uh, children because the cancer won't let them uh, go through a pregnancy at the time that they're going through chemotherapy and other treatments. So again, I think that this is a win-win for everybody. And once the uh, insurance companies see the light of day that they are going to be helping families, 
um, you know, I think that uh, we'll be on the road of making it a reality here in the state. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to uh, add? I just want to thank you uh, for being at all of our events and for covering all of the progress that the council member, the senator, and I are trying to achieve for this community that we all love so much. We were uh, raised here. Uh, you know, Costa and I are raising our, uh, our children here. It's important that uh, we work as hard as we can to make sure that we move forward as a community. Well, thank you for your good work. Thank you. We're very excited about this program. We believe creating a gathering spot, a meeting place on Steinway Street where people can come and enjoy, relax, and be a part of our street shoppers and shopper-friendly place that people can enjoy and relax and have a great time. We'll bring people back from all over the world, all over the city, all over the tri-state area to come here and regain the strength that Steinway Street has always been known as the greatest shopping street in the city. We know we can do it. We have the help of our local elected officials. We have the help of our merchants. The community loves Steinway Street. We want to work together and make it the best place to be. Let me ask you, I mean, I grew up in Astoria. I've been here many, many years, and this was my place to shop. But over the years, as you can see, there's shops that are closing for rent, for sale. Why do you think the, this street has gone downhill? A lot of the stores did not change with the changing times. and They were still set in an old mode, and now the neighborhood is changing. There are new people coming into the neighborhood. It is one of the hottest neighborhoods in New York City, if not the hottest. And the neighbors are changing, so the neighborhood is changing, thus the stores have to change. The newer merchants are changing. They're going with the flow and creating products and services that the community, the new community wants, yet they're maintaining and servicing the older constituents who are here residing in the neighborhood. We want to be able to balance the new people who have moved in who are part of our growing community and at the same time serve and help the people who have made this their home like yourself and me for many, many years. And we can do it. We just have to be able to address what they want. We need to create places that a young entrepreneurial spirit comes in. Perhaps the son of an immigrant comes in here or the daughter of an immigrant and says, I can make the best coffee, the best pasta, the best hamburger, and create a something that people will run to, a destination. At the same time, we need to create services and industries that people can get only locally. We need to go beyond the internet and the computer and Facebook and Instagram. We need to create a live one-on-one -on -one relationship, and that's what we're trying to do right now. Uh, some constituents were here today uh, listening to uh, the press conference have complained to me that, you know, they want to see more uh, shops opening. Uh, the, there was talk about adding more bicycle lanes and all that, something that's of concern to them. What, what, is, what do you think about this? I think bicycle lanes are great. Mm -hmm. I think we need more stores. I think we need uh, the stores to come in, open up, and gear themselves towards the people of the community. The bicycles are fine. Having parking places is fine. Having subways, buses. Any way that we can get people here to be on our street is a welcome thing that we want. We embrace and hold close to our heart anything and everyone that will find a way to come to join us on Steinway Street. It is why we are here. Steinway was designed as a way to pay an homage to the great Steinway piano. Yeah. And so it was based on quality, it was based on the character, it was based on excellence. And we're going to try to bring that all back. Well, good luck. We'll be. Um covering uh, the uh, progress all the way. Thank you so much. And we'll be there to answer any questions you have and thank you for bringing it to your audience.